Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the Xbox game bar in Windows. And I'm actually going to show you how to completely remove the game bar. But first guys, if you want, you can go down on this video in the comment section and click on the first comment that I pinned. This will bring you to my Fiverr and here you can get a YouTube logo and banner or a modern minimalist YouTube logo and banner for your YouTube channel. But now back to the video. Now first of all, I actually want to show you how to make the Xbox game bar appear. So that's generally with the Windows key and G. As you can see here, we have the layout and everything running of the Xbox game bar. Now to actually make sure that we remove everything here, just click in the middle by the way, it will disappear like this. So what we're gonna do actually is go down here to search. I'm gonna type Windows PowerShell, as you can see right here. And it's also pretty important, right click on it before clicking on it, and you do run as administrator. You're gonna have a little message from Windows. You're gonna say yes. As you can see right here, as you can see right here, it started running. And so I'm actually gonna copy paste and insert a command here. Now don't worry, the exact same command is going to be in the description of this video. So make sure that you copy paste it just exactly the way I do. I'm just gonna do Control V here. And as you can see, this is the command right here. Now I actually put this as an extra, which is gonna be all users. So basically every user there is on this PC will have it removed, the whole Xbox gaming overlay, as you can see. So if you don't want that, if you only want it for one user, just remove this little part here that says all users. But that's a little bit of a detail. So basically what I'm gonna do then is just click enter. So it's gonna load a bit. So you have to wait a little bit here, but don't worry. Okay, as you can see, we should be good. Now you could actually restart your PC, but that is optional. You don't really need to. Normally it should already be removed right now. So if I close this and I try to run the Xbox game bar again, the overlay. So as I said earlier, that's the Windows key plus G. As you can see, nothing will appear, which means it's been completely removed. Now worst case scenario, you could always, of course, go back to the Microsoft Store and just get it again. Just install it again. That's actually pretty easy. But if you want it to be completely removed like it is right now, and as I said, also for all users, like I did earlier, this is the way to do it. You won't accidentally click on the key anymore and have it popped up while you're doing something or accidentally record, which could also happen. This completely removes it. In any case, guys, short tutorial here. Hope it helped you out. Please leave a like, it would be really nice. Subscribe would also be really nice. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.